Welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Jack. Today is the first official, semi-official update to the LEGO City. I'm not entirely sure. I thought it was appropriate to do an update now because we got pretty much the first row, the first row of buildings done for the uh, for the whole modular city. A lot of them are the creator modular builds and some of them, most of them we've done videos for. But uh, I have added a few other things that aren't exactly the modular builds, but they have been put onto some sort of modular plate, either a 16 by 32 or 32 by 32 or something. And uh, so this is just gonna go through kind of what what's new and what's, what's to come. So let's just jump around. I'm gonna be snapping these fingers and the first building is, so the first building is this. Well, I'm on the other side of it. Hold on, let me just show you. Yes, it is on uh, right next to the brick bank and maybe some of you might recognize what it actually is, this is on a 16 by 32 base plate, been uh, modified, just not really modified. Actually, it's been thrown in, but we have plans to change it up. Right, so if you can recognize it, that is the 1960s uh, Batcave from the 1960s Batcave set. And uh, Batman isn't so subtle about hiding his identity within the Lego city. I kind of like this. It's almost like he, uh, he just excavated a section of his bat cave to kind of have an apartment away from uh, Wayne Manor within the Lego City. I wasn't about to do an entire Wayne Manor set up for the Lego City here. So I think this works pretty well. Obviously for the future, we're gonna be building up some sidewalls, get it kind of uh, beautified here. Maybe have a window or something, build out more of a roof, have it come down, the ability to fold out. That's, that's the end goal, but yeah. It's basically Bruce Wayne and his apartment within the Lego City. So he doesn't he doesn't have his full operation set up here. Underneath we've got just the bat bike, but I might include the uh, where did it go? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I might include this too. His bat buggy. This he's not gonna have the full range set up. I'm not sure how wide this lane is gonna be between all the creator buildings once they're all here, but yeah. That's the that's the first building I wanted to show you guys because I know it's been in the uh, videos for a few times now, but I never bothered to explain what it was. But yeah, okay, let's move on to the next one. All right, so in front of us is nothing new, actually. This is the LEGO Store exclusive set that you guys have seen before, and uh, it has been modified, right, to be on a 16 by 32 and fits, well, it fits well. There's just a lot of space in between here right now. I'm showing this to you because I want to tell you about the future plans for what we're going to be doing here. First off, the store is going to be taller. These window pieces are going to be stacked and uh, the store is also going to fit further back. It's going to be deeper, it's going to be taller, and uh, that's just going to be kind of, well, Lego stores are kind of like that. Don't they all have really tall roofs and it's kind of like you're on the inside of a brick or something? So that is the first plan and then we're going to actually have stories to stack on top. And the stories, that's what, I've, what I'm kind of really excited about. It's gonna be two layers, and in one of the layers, we're gonna have this on the inside. Can you tell what this is? I'm gonna move on over here, and maybe you can uh, get a better idea of what it is. Can you tell? I mean, it's not, it's not wonderful, it doesn't look fantastic, but yes, this is supposed to be a minifig scale version of the city that we're currently working on right now. It is not perfectly scaled. What I tried to do is I tried to get each one by one tile piece to match up with a 32 by 32 base plate. Now the city has 16 by 32 base plates going all around the outer edge. So it's not, it doesn't scale perfectly well because you can't really do that with this. But the idea is this is gonna be able to fit just, just barely, very snugly, but it will be able to fit within a 32 by 16 base plate here. So that'll be one story, and the second story will be, I don't know, another part of what's in our actual Brick Vault LEGO studio. I'm not really sure what the second story is gonna be, but uh, that'll be kind of a brick section, which I'm really excited about. And now that I've told you guys I'm gonna do this, I sort of have to deliver. But anyways, let's move on to the next section. Now, I don't really know why I snapped my fingers to this next cut because it's, well, it's right here. Anyways, the next thing I wanna talk about is what has been built up both here and here. So 
Right now, this is where the normal modular sidewalk ends, right with this uh, light gray tile piece here. And then we've built out three studs in all the way down onto the road base plates. Well, until we, of course, run out of parts and we haven't built it out anywhere else. But this is uh, the next section of beautifying the city. I think it's really gonna tie um, just this whole look together. We're gonna be able to have a lot more activities going on, maybe even street performers and things like that on the roads. But I also just think it makes the sidewalks look a bit nicer. So we're gonna build it out a bit further all around the perimeter. And I mean, all around the perimeter wall. We don't have any of it left over and we don't even have the roads completed on this edge over here. But that is uh, probably gonna be the next big sort of how-to update video is gonna be building up both your sidewalks and here. So I've built it onto just these two plates here and this is gonna build up sort of the grassy edge of the uh, of the ballast that connects to the train ballast here. So it, we haven't built it up on this edge here. But if you take a nice close look, we've just got some random trees and bushes and things like that and some grassy base plates and some other trees. And I might, I don't know, maybe build up a little bit more of the grassy base plates here and kind of have like a nice little layered effect. I'm not entirely sure, it can go up on some parts or not. But anyways, that is gonna be a nice big sort of coming together between the base plates of the trains and also the uh, base plates of the city stuff. So we're gonna still have a little bit of space between these road pieces, but um, hopefully, well, here's actually what the design is for the corner. All the corners are gonna kind of look like this. Um, I think that looks pretty good, I don't know. The design might change, but this is just the general idea. We're gonna be building all the sidewalks all the way out and for every bit of road through the whole thing. I think that's really gonna tie the look together and make the city just feel a little bit more, I don't know, can't think of a word at the moment. But anyways, let's move on. All right, so this next build here is the three floor house by uh, Andre at bonkbonk.se. Wonderful custom build here. And I'm showing this to you right now because I kind of want to let you know that this is just going to turn into a modular set. I want to modify it ever so slightly. I'm going to probably have to break these pieces down just a little bit to make it a little shorter and more narrow here, as well as make things a little bit more narrow on the sides here. Because if we can move, move it in, let me just see if I can, oop, this whole thing wants to, shing. Okay, so yeah, if we can move it in, it'll be able to fit onto a 32 by 32 and a 16 by 32 together and we're not going to have a lot of crossover the whole idea is that the city is going to be modular every single thing is going to be able to be modular and moved around so the bonk bonk uh mansion should be able to move around but in the meantime we are going to build a park behind it this was just something kind of thrown together for some beauty shots but we've got all these little trees here i want to make it a little bit more of like a nice manicured park i feel like that would fit in very nicely with this kind of building and we've got some benches here, as well as uh, this little creator fountain. I decided to make uh, her both the the bearded woman statue. I think it looks pretty good. But um, yes, so that is the Bonk Bonk future. We're gonna just put it onto some modular plates, moving on. All right, and now we're in the middle of the city. As you can see, I'm standing in the sort of island, island of space. And we're looking down at the carnival section. So we've got this bit here, the, the fence lining that was used to protect people from uh, the perimeter of this thing when it's spinning around is now just used to kind of block off the area so little minifigures don't uh, walk in without paying. There's the ticket booth there. So this is kind of a little temporary setup, as it should be, because this is a temporary sort of traveling fair. But I think something that would look wonderful is this. This is a very, very large Ferris wheel. And what would look great is if this is kind of like almost a permanent establishment in the city, or at least something that can stay for a while, putting it right here, and it would almost kind of be like sort of how the London Eye is in London, that gigantic, gigantic Ferris wheel. Let me just stand on the outside and show you. Right, so that's what it would look like, I'm hoping, I think. I know it's gonna be a very, very tall build and it should be able to stand a little bit taller than your average modular creator set. So I think that could be a great um, uh, semi-permanent establishment to the build for the LEGO City. Have the Ferris wheel kind of sticking out right in front of the island. And let's move down. This is a construction zone, kind of just a little work in progress, didn't really know what to put here. This is the uh, air show hangar from uh, 
the episode a couple of days ago, but yeah, there's gonna be something added in here. I actually really hope that Lego Ideas modular construction building gets passed because that would look so cool in a uh, construction area within the city. But let's move on once again. All right, and here we are in the corner of the city now. You can see we're on the sort of opposite end of where we just were before. And all of this stuff, all of this stuff is just creator sets that uh, we've kind of just set out here. Um, they haven't been modified, but they have been put onto base plates, at least some of them. And I'm playing around with the idea of having at least one other full base plate go in between here and what will eventually become the shoreline. Next, we would have a harbor that comes out here, maybe some docks with some uh, ships in the harbor there, maybe an island, who knows? That, that I definitely wanna flesh out, but first we're gonna have to move this entire gigantic Micropolis airport. I've pointed this out a few times before. It looks great, totally custom built, not minifigure scale even by a little bit. It kinda looks okay actually when you put these other planes in here. They, they don't really scale, but I mean, they look okay on the runway for sure. Um, but yeah, this is something that would get turned into a minifigure scale airport for sure. And right next to the minifig scale airport is going to be our racetrack. This is a pretty bare bones section right now. Um, in future, in, for the future, we wanna have more of these bleachers and I would really love to do sort of a flower design. You know how there's um, that sort of floral thing that they have, they, they write things down, maybe the name of the uh, racetrack, which we have not yet named. And from back here, we're gonna have maybe more housing. In here, behind the airport, before the water, this whole section is gonna be a road section that connects, goes loops around here. I'm gonna guess residential stuff, but honestly, it's a total free-for-all. And moving back here, there isn't a whole lot more to point out. Here's another uh, modular, well, it's now modular. It's another little creator set, the corner deli, just kind of place that there. And there's some random little builds we've got. I love this gas station. I do want to change it up though, make it match up maybe with another building that ends up there. We've got some other stuff. I guess this is a little Minecraft village house that um, it looks like it's a custom build, but we haven't, it hasn't been fleshed out entirely. But uh, yeah, there's just, that's that's it for the city, I suppose. This is, this is the whole thing that we've just been kind of working on. And uh, if you have any ideas about anything that you saw in the city, maybe some cool things about what you wanna maybe see us include. That would be great if you left a comment in the section below for us. And uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching everybody. We really do appreciate you guys checking out our channel. And we love, love, love making these videos. So um, yeah, that's it. And we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. What? What? Where? Where am I? What the? Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me.